So guys, AKT season is here again. We're here with Dr. Lucas. All you guys will know him from our AKT courses. So Lucas, we're going to talk a little bit about AKT technique and some of the things that we teach yeah. for AKT. Let's start off with one that I think is a really important one. Yeah. Changing double words to single words. Yes. Give us an overview. Yeah, so I think this is kind of trying to make it easier for you under the pressure of the exam. Yeah. You know, there's a lot to read. There is a lot to read. And taking things like, you know, towards the end of the question stem, there might be something like least likely. Yeah. Okay. And when we read that, our brain kind of goes, oh, least likely. And you're kind of looking through those five answer options and yeah. you're thinking, is that more likely than that? Is that more likely than that? Yeah. And it, it, so it can be overwhelming. Yeah. It can be really difficult. Yeah, yeah. So what we say is, we, we, we call that a double word. Least like, could be most likely. Yeah, for most appropriate, most least appropriate. appropriate, most likely, least likely, yeah. And we say change that to simply true or false. Yeah. Okay, so instead one word. of least likely becomes false. Which of the following is false? Yeah. Most appropriate becomes true. Becomes true. Yeah. Much easier. Yeah. Much easier to look at those options, answer options and go, okay, that one's true, that one's true, that one's true. That's, that's right. Just find the false. Much easier. If you think about it, if, if your stem is long and your statements are long, then you're trying to go, is this least likely? Is this least likely? Is this least likely? Is this least likely? And if there's like a kind of negative connotation in one of the statements as well, then you're kind of just yeah. really confusing that. There's yeah. so much stress on your brain and your, breast is, your brain is already super stressed. So this just takes that one step down, doesn't it? So yeah, number one is definitely, definitely change your double words to single words and put less stress on your brain. Yeah, and it increases your speed as well. 100%. Which is obviously... And we really see the important. difference when we do AKT one-to-ones, when we do the big mock course, we see how when people start doing that, it just takes that pressure off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's one really important one. Another one that we talk about is, what else do we talk about from a technique point of view? So we talk about making sure every word or number in the statement fits. Counts. So yeah. it counts, yeah. It, that, that everything about your chosen answer option is, is fine, is, is correct, because sometimes at the end of the statement, there might be something, so it's almost correct, it yeah. might be 90% correct, yeah. and then it's just something at the end, and if you kind of feel, oh, that's not quite right, yeah. chances are it probably isn't. Yeah, it's that, often that last one or two words, isn't yeah. it? And again, if it's a long statement, your brain starts to decide about that statement as you're reading the statement. Mm -hmm. So you've read 75%, it's all true so far, so you're thinking this is right, and your brain almost decides it. Yeah. And then you carry on reading it because you just have to carry on reading it, but your brain's already decided it. And it's those last two words that change that statement to the opposite meaning. But our brain has already made the decision that this is probably true because the first 80% of the statement is true. So you're right, we talked a lot about making sure every single word of that statement fits with what you're thinking before you move on. And it's so easy for your brain to do what it wants to do, which is just to rush through it and think, yeah, true, that's easy, true, that's easy miss that last word isn't it and we see this a lot on, on the, the mock course and being conscious of your brain reading what it wants to read oh, as well yes. because you, you may have seen a very similar statement in your revision yeah. and you just kind of go oh that looks about right yeah. and actually yeah. just just taking that extra few seconds just to double check it yeah. it's so so important and, but, and it's unlikely to happen if the word is in the middle it's more what happens at the end exactly because you've yeah. already made that decision it's a really important one and third one that we always talk about, we talk about quite a few different technique things, but let's think about another one. We talk about hard and give soft another words. one. Hard and soft, hard, words. Hard and soft yeah. words. Tell yeah. me about those. So hard and soft words are, are, are kind of, I guess, terms we use. So hard words might be things like very absolute things. Yeah. So never, always, must. Point, must yeah. yeah. And so they're very hard words. And, and when we think about medicine as a whole, they're pretty rare. Yeah. They're pretty rare for something yeah. to be that absolute. You'll definitely know what that is. Yeah. This is in contrast to soft words, mm. which are things like may, can, sometimes, perhaps, often, often, yeah. and they're much more reasonable. Yeah, they're much yeah. more reasonable because very rarely in medicine is something a hundred percent. Yeah, there are some cases. So, so it's not. It's not, it's not a yeah, hard and hard but yeah, but yeah. but generally, if the statement is more reasonable, even if it's been like one in a million yeah. that that applies, that could be a true. You can you, yeah. can, you know, it's more likely to be okay. That's right. And that's a really really important one. Hard words and soft words, and you almost want your you're always going to do lots of questions in preparation. You want your brain to start 
almost radaring on those hard words. You, yeah. you want to subconsciously pick up on the fact that that's a must or a must or a never or a always. And then you almost want your brain to just flag that as a red flag. Yeah. yeah. Because very little, as you said, is 100% in medicine. Yeah. And you also usually want your brain to almost subconsciously pick up those soft words, mm -hmm. the maze, the cans, mm -hmm. because as you said, even if it's one in a million is true, that becomes a true statement. Yeah. So when we talk about technique with AKT, yes, people can know a lot of stuff and you can learn everything under the sun, but if your technique is not there, we've seen yeah. on the courses how many marks are dropped. Yeah. And these are marks that people don't know about because you never get that breakdown as to what you got right and wrong. And you presume you got a question right because it seemed like an easy one, but that might be one that you got wrong because of one of those three really important technique places. So for those of you who are doing AKT right now and preparing for AKT right now, uh, technique is huge. Yeah. Um, there are quite a few of these little things that we bring yeah. about in, in the courses, isn't it? Because these sometimes are the game changers. Very much so. Do yeah, very much so. I mean, on, on the courses, when we when we have the, the chat going, people will quite often say, I saw it, yeah. I saw it, I did it, yeah. I did it, I did the double word thing. Yeah. And, and and it's really nice to see that. And often we see it with our, throughout the day. Yeah. People might not be doing it at the beginning of the day, but they were at the end. Yeah. Um, people talk about you know those those hard and soft words almost highlighting in yeah. in, the, in the jumping out to yeah. them more yeah. often. But um, it just needs the insight, doesn't it, to mm. know it, to then do it. Yeah. And often what we see with AKT, I've been training for AKT for years now, and it's really sad that somebody has done so much work, so many hours, so many questions, so much reading, and they're falling down because of technique. Yeah. And I think it's a really under discussed aspect of AKT. I agree. Prep. I agree. And that's one thing that we certainly focus on. So if you've got AKT coming up, then AKT Ultimate has got everything that you need from a yeah. technique point of view, but also from a, a knowledge point of view, videos, question banks, mocks, flashcards, audios, live teaching, We've got that. full program. But the key thing is it's designed to work on not just the knowledge, but the technique as well. And that's where we can hopefully come in and make a difference. Thank you, I think that's pretty helpful. Um, AKT links down below in the chat. We'll catch up with you for some of the live courses very soon. Definitely. See you soon. Take care.